I don't know if I was recording that intro. I think I am. I, I kind of forgot how the recording jingle goes because it's been a while since so I actually recorded, just sat down and record and actually listened to that jingle. But we are doing a POV drive, as you can see. I'm in my car. Y'all probably wondering, you go out to these car shows, you do all these driving things about cars. What do you drive, Tai Okai? What do you drive? Well, I drive a old car. I drive a 2007 Toyota Camry V6 3.5 liter engine. XLE with a dual exhaust. And y'all probably be like, yo, you got such a. Oh, I didn't even notice that black dude. Y'all probably were wondering, yo, you drive such a dookie car. Yes. It's not dookie. You know why? Because it's mine. It's mine. And I think it's better than any Lamborghini I see on the road. Because it's mine. But I, I do want to get things done to this thing. Obviously, I have a bunch of tools coming in. I want to work on the engine like spark plugs, coil injectors, but for like performance wise and like looks and like exhaust wise, I actually wanna, I actually want to get an exhaust system on this car. Same thing with a, um, what's called a, uh, a intake, a, a cold air intake. Cause I, I've seen videos of that plus a, what's it, what you gonna call it? A, um, a exhaust bro. And this car sounds really good. This car has like, I think, this car produces around like 280 horsepower. It's like 60 plus more than like a BRZ and a GRE6, which is crazy in my opinion. It is super cold. It is super cold, y'all. I just gotta get that off my head. It is super cold. But I feel like I'm getting, hold on, let me let this guy go. I feel like I'm getting off track of what I really want to see on this video. What I really want to talk about was patience. I feel like in in life, it's not even like it's not even like I feel like you need to have patience in life, especially if you're not where you are where you want to be like me. I know I'm not I'm nowhere close to where I want to be, but I'm closer than yesterday. I'm closer than I was a week ago. Even though I have failed on my discipline many many times, I just remind myself it just it's just this one day, just these two, it's just this one week. You have whole we have many more weeks to come back in grind yet many more weeks to come back in and do the things and and fix you get what i'm saying so when it comes to patience you have to have a lot of it because you're not things might not go your way and you're not might be able to control it and that's okay it is fine that's something some that's something i fail to do sometimes is like give myself the benefit of a doubt to like actually be okay with things not being okay. And I feel like that's what that's what makes people fail most of the time. Whenever they get hit with a setback and something doesn't go as planned as they as, as planned as they wanted to, they get discouraged and just get on like an, an emotional wreck about it and saying nothing's for them or things like that. That's how I was. And I still get those thoughts on when I get setbacks, but it I, I get quick out of that mindset because I know it's just a, it's just a feeling it is just a moment it is just a period in time life you're gonna have setbacks and you just have to have patience and the conviction to just go get through those setbacks just literally just get through them that's all you that's that's feel like that's like the main driver for success in this life is patience people don't have enough of it people don't have enough of it and that's something I'm starting to tolerate is patience my patient over the last year, two years of graduating high school, my patient, my patience has went up so much because I remember I used to, I used to, I'm just getting off of this feeling now. I would always want to, I would always want to get rich quick. Like you, like I always act like I have no time to get rich, and it will end up making me with buy financial decisions outside of YouTube. I'm in the financial uh, markets. I'm in the financial markets. You guys know what that means. But when I don't rush, let's say that don't rush. There's no, there's no quick way to get rid. I mean, obviously there is, but they're probably illegal and like very bad for your for your headspace. But other than that, please don't rush the journey because if you do, you're probably just gonna burn yourself out and end up getting depressed. And I feel like that's what leads to depression sometimes. Just a lack of patience and a lack of like, 
uh, how do I word it? A lack of like um, willpower, sort of. A lack of willpower. If you get through those hard days, you can definitely get through the good days. If you get through the good days, you can definitely get through the hard days. You know, you know how many bad days you survived so far? 100% of your bad days. And that's one people think people forget. And that's one thing I, I push my mind towards. Every time, every time I fail, I always remember I survived 100% of my bad days. And that's facts. You might not be going through, you might be going through a bad time in your life right now. You're gonna, if, you know how many times you survive bad days? There's times where it feels like you're not gonna survive it, but you're going to. You just gotta get through the day, get through the week, get through the month, get through the year. And you're, be, and you'll be cooking. And you will be cooking, literally. Oh, this is gonna suck. Nah. I kinda went kinda fast on this turn. So I had to slow down a little bit. But yeah, literally, just... Just do the things you need to do. And just be patient about it. And just be patient about it. I've always wanted to do POV drives for the longest time, but I never had, like, the confidence to. Until now, I have the headband for the phone. I've always wanted to do POV drives. Especially in my car. The one person who really got me into doing POV drives, I'll put up a picture of him on the screen. His name is Unlockable Character. I'm probably gonna tag him and message him about it. That he actually he's, he actually inspired me to do these videos. To start to actually make this video now. Because I, I think, in my opinion, Unlockable Character, he has like one of the best POV drives. The thing that sucks, bro, a, a couple of days, he dropped a video a couple of days ago. He drives an M4 competition, Matt Black, Sam Matt Black, and bro, he has a he, he got side swiped by a Hyundai, which is crazy. Hopefully, he gets back on his. Obviously, we're all gonna come back, but hopefully, he comes back stronger than he was already. But to see that, I was like, damn, wow. I had a feeling it was gonna happen too. I had a I had a feeling. That was a gut feeling. The crazy, like man. But I love Unlockable Character though. He's like one of my favorite POV Drive YouTubers. One of my favorites. That's for sure. That is for sure. No, but I, I, I put I put on my big boy pants and send up the courage to do a POV Drive. It might not be as good as like a Lamborghini or a, uh, a M4 competition with pops and burbles, but it's a video of me. It's a video of my car. I'm enjoying this. I haven't been on the drive in so long. Like an actual regular drive. But what I want to see, the car I want in the future, I am going to, I'm going to keep, I'm probably going to do one, um, these POV drive probably like once a week, once every two weeks, depending on how I feel. But in the future, I definitely do, I want to get a, um, a Mark V Supra, matte green with the bronze BBSs. Woo! Dream spec. It sounds like something's burning. Hmm. Burnt leaves, maybe? Hmm. What about my cabin filter? My cabin filter is pretty dirty. I haven't cleaned it in a while. No, but yeah, what I was saying, I want to get something nice next year. Either a, a GR86 or a GR Supra Mark V specifically, because I'm not a big fan of the Mark IVs. People put, I know people are gonna be like, oh my. I know people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you want the Mark IV Supra? You, you don't like the Mark IV Supra? No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not one of the Supra kids. I, don't, I really don't like the Mark V Supra. No Mark IV, man. Sorry. The Mark IV just looks so goofy to me, respectfully though. I know people are gonna hate on me, like, yo, you like the Mark IV Supra? Bro, you drive a 2007 Camry. You have no word. Bro, it's an opinion, dude. Get out of my ear. I don't like the Mark IV Supra. It looks goofy to me. I like the Mark V. The Mark V is one of my favorites. And it generally grew on me, just, just like BMW. I, I really don't like BMW. I like Mercedes. I used to, I love Mercedes. I used to love Mercedes. I'm, obviously, I've been loving Mercedes, but what's it, McCullough? What do you, what do you call it? Uh, uh, frick, brain fart. I love Mercedes. Don't get me wrong, I love Mercedes. But, 
but uh dang i forgot what i was gonna say i love mercedes but i don't love it more than bmw though bmw is something that i that i actually man this red light been i feel like this guy's been here for a while jeep drink drink jeep drink cherokee drink cherokee i don't know how to check her cherokee i feel like this guy's been here for a long time he's moving up i feel like he's been here for a long time i have the jazz going now, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't wanna get copyrighted. I'm 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 not making money, but never hurts never hurts the never hurts the try, right? Never hurts the try, right? Alright, hopefully I hope y'all can see my, myself, like the video. I'm probably gonna turn up the exposure on some parts. Like right now, you could definitely see everything. You can see everything. I know that for a fact. Get so bright. You could definitely see everything here. That is 100 percent I'm about to get, I'm gonna step out the car and get her like a thumbnail. Here. I could have got a thumbnail at the 100 grill. Or the 110 grill. Frick those people. I tried to apply there. They didn't respond back to me. Like, bruh. Like, bruh. But this is like the, um, the hangout spot. Let's say, like, we're teenagers. If you're a teenager in Massachusetts, Worcester, I just blared out and it doesn't matter. This is the Blackstone Valley. This is like the hangout spot. It has Best Buy, Party City, the movie theaters, everything, restaurants, crumble cookie. Never tried a crumble cookie before. But it has literally everything you could think of. It has literally everything you could think of, dude. Everything. Best Buy, Marshalls, I just said Best Buy, but it has so many things. It is crazy. Like, I, I usually come here all the time. I mean, whenever I do, when I don't have none, when I have like really none to do, I usually, I usually just, I usually just come here and just chill with my friends. But this security, I'm gonna see if I get a, I, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna just park here to see if I get a thumbnail from a POV. I'm just trying to get a POV, a POV. Hopefully they don't bother. They probably are, cause like it's twelve in the morning. They probably gonna wonder why I'm gonna, do, why I'm doing this. But it doesn't matter, cause all I'm doing is a thumbnail. I'm just getting a thumbnail. But let me give. Oh, I don't want to show my plate though. I think I have. I don't think it matters though. I don't think it matters. Ah. But this is this is the. This is the, oh, let me lower my, I don't want to lock my, I've done it once, I don't want to lock my car, my keys in my car. I don't want to lock my keys in my car. But this, this is the car. It's beautiful. And what I want, I want to get rims on it. That's why the last thing I want to do on it is get rims on, on this car. The last thing I want to do is dirty. I have, trust me, bro. It is super dirty. It is super dirty. Camry, let me just block this out. XLE, V6. My baby I had it for like a year now. It's so dirty, bro. I'm gonna try to block this out in the video or cut it out. I want to get a, I want to get a good angle. It's a good angle right here. Has to be right. I don't know if I'm getting. I'm trying to get all the angles I if I can. All right, that should be good, right? All right, let's head back. Oh, it's so cold. It is so cold. Oh. Give me in the car. Dang, I keep hitting the camera, dude. I didn't think security would be out here. I, I didn't think security would be out here. To be honest, this is Dick Sporting Goods. I'm sitting on something, am I? I am. I'm sitting on my chapstick. I'm sitting on my chapstick. But I didn't think security would be security. Will, security will be here at this time of day, at this time of time. Obviously, they're protecting the parking lot from skeeves and thieves and and dangerous people. But surprisingly, they didn't come up. To, they, they, they didn't come up to me. Surprisingly, they're just doing their job. They don't want to. It's cold, so they don't want to step out the cars. 
Understandable. For some reason, I always felt like there was a Little Caesars around here, but there's not. They got a bunch of restaurants. Literally a, a perfect spot for teenagers. That's what, when I was, I'm 20 now, when I was like eight, man, time goes by so fast. When I was like 16, 17, maybe 15, not sure. More 17 and 16-ish. Yeah, more 17-ish, 18, 18, 16 to 18. This is like the this is like a good spot to chill with your friends to come watch a movie, come eat, come not really do much besides eat and watch a movie. Cause where I live, my city, I live, there's literally nothing to do. You have to go so far out to actually do things, which kind of sucks. It doesn't kind of suck. It does suck. But what can you do about it? Is that a house right there? Nah, you're lying. Okay, it is a little shed, but I saw those red lights, and I thought those were tail lights. And I was about to say, I've never seen a house there, ever in my life, ever. I, oh, I think that was the Jeep, um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is. The, who's across the parking lot? I saw him. I'm curious on what he was doing. What were you doing? What were you doing? Back in the darkness. Hopefully y'all, hopefully, hopefully the camera is in a good position. It's gonna be so awesome. But the more, the more I listen to the engine, the more I, like, oh, uh, it's, it's, in my opinion, it sounds so good. Whew. I love the sound of it. I've gently started to enjoy my car. And I, I started driving crazier. Respectfully though, I'm not gonna do it here. Because why would I do that, I'm in a Camry. I'm not in like no M BMW M competition to go all like 100 miles an hour. It's not that I'll pick up speed in like two seconds. But like, like actually enjoy the car. I just been driving it, been driving it, just to drive it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really enjoyed it to actually really like get a feel of the car. I've had it for a year. I'm lying about the feel of the car, but I'm like, I haven't like really like indulged in like, wow, this car feels great. This car feels sounds good. And my, Man, the cabin noise sucks. I hope y'all, I hope this, I hope y'all can hear me from the cabin noise. That's one thing about these older cars. The cabin noise is very loud, very, very loud. And I hope I'm at a good angle for this video. But I'm gonna stop talking for like a few minutes and just, and just let y'all chill and let the POV drive just happen. Even though how old this car is, the passing power, in my opinion, is is pretty great. Not as good as like the newer cars, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. I want 
go back with the patience. Just, just wait, man. If you want something fast, just, you're gonna crumble and f I want to say you're gonna fail, but it's just not gonna be. A, it's not gonna be a pleasant time. Just trying to rush for it. Literally, it's not gonna be pleasant. You're gonna get depressed. You're gonna crash yourself out. You're gonna have false expectations if you try to rush things. The more patience you have, the happier you'll be. Literally, if you got patience, you'll be a lot. You'll be a lot more happy if you have more patience. And one thing, we recently hit 200 subs on uh, on YouTube, which is pretty cool. 25% to 1,000. Awesome. Crazy. You know what's all crazy about that, right? If I could, I feel like I could have been to hit 200, but I just wasn't like, I just wasn't posting crazy, especially when it comes to like TikTok shorts. TikTok shorts is like, not TikTok shorts. I mean YouTube shorts. Man, they are a dream. I feel like without them, I wouldn't have hit 200 subs. I need to get behind this truck so I don't miss my exit. He's hauling, I think, two Toyotas and one Nissan or Infiniti. Can't tell. It's crazy. I, I wouldn't mind being a truck driver, but it's not my—it's not the path I chose. I mean, if I chose that path, I wouldn't mind it. I would not mind it because on the road for hours on end, just chilling. Yo, cabin. That's pretty cool. Pretty vibey, if you get what I mean. But we almost to the humble abode. Mi casa. Not su casa. Almost there. So I'm probably going to end the video once I get once I get to the next stoplight. People get so scared of driving next to these big rigs. I, I, I generally don't. They're not scared to drive past. Never, never have I ever been scared of driving past one of the big rigs. There might be a Kia on that top of that truck. here gonna end it soon probably like a few seconds anyways if you enjoyed this pov obviously i'm not gonna say if you like it if you like the video for more i'm gonna post more regardless but i'll see y'all in the next pov definitely probably like next week or a few days from now because everyone's pretty vibey chill the night it's 12 in the morning no one's really out and about free roads practically but anyways if you enjoyed the if you're even watching the video I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, y'all. I hope I was recording. <laughs>